Hi guys and welcome to your weeklies. Congrats to Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius and Sagittarius. Uh, please check my website for the current specials and take advantage of them. I'm open for the readings. Also try to find me on the Facebook and that way you can get the immediate answer. Hi Scorpio and welcome to the winning circle again. So um, let me just give you a quick intro that this week I'm actually covering two weeks. The reason for that is like that my monthlies are not on the first of the month, but my monthly is uh, with a sun actually shift, solar shift. So basically this happens on the 20th when Pisces go to Aries. So that's going to uh, overlap with weekly, so there is no need for that weekly. And then again, around the first of the month, I have sort of like issues about problematic and excess relationships. So that's the second installment of the monthly. So you have it twice a month. So let's go right into the reading and let's see how you guys are doing. Uh, you guys are having this tremendous strength and changes. And the bottom of the deck was Ace of Earths. Ace of Earth is basically um, upright, really good energy where it shows and talks about soft shelter and you know being patient being generous right being comfortable but when it reverses right when when such a big tree gets uprooted it it kind of speaks about that you're currently over like overwhelmed with feeling that you missed a great opportunity that maybe Kind of like you took a left turn when you were supposed to take the right turn. You're questioning yourself. You're wondering uh, if you can see things that are right in front of you. And even when something good happens, you're doubting your good fortune, right? Uh, this can simply just mean delays as well. But look, what I really like about it, because what looks like a paw this way in a card, it looks heart that is being branched out. So. It's basically, you know, um, I would just say whatever happens your way, accept it. And this is coming combined with Earth of Fire. So there will be some messages and there will be some indecisions that would lead to decisions. So I'll look at that underneath that. It was you, Sky Queen, and Breakup, which is kind of like overall theme over here. But you're dealing with this breakup for quite a while. I think it was really hard for you guys to let go. and uh, But you're getting better. You're getting better. Like right now, you're uprooting yourself. And interestingly enough, the other deck came back with release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I keep repeating the same thing. You probably already know. Look, right write your issues, write your grievances and burn them because you need to voice them otherwise they stay inside and it's just so much that your friends can take just so much because they heard it once and twice and three times it's like they are, they are feeling they are absorbing that energy so just do it yourself release it kind of like start experiencing this new lighter you and also it's the wedding reversed religious factors or wedding reverse this is the ver divorce with someone who you knew well or at least you thought you knew them well or breakup but right now they're like in this phase like sort of like I, I don't feel them there I feel them here so let's see how the week starts because overall I see that you're actually feeling okay so <laughs> you're not suffering you're not on the bottom of the emotion anymore we don't have like I mean this horrifying cards. There's no tower. There's no nine or ten of swords. There's no three of swords. So we are moving up in life, Scorpio. So what is the base? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. No kidding. And it's a sea kitten. It's a little exploration of the romance. So. You're going to get your feet wet. You're ready to go back in the pool. You're ready to kind of go and flirt. You're ready to experience. You know that you're getting healthier. You're getting stronger. And it is time to spread your wings and go. 
because you actually do believe after thinking through everything that you deserve love and this card is confirming that you are lovable there are still issues from your past the moon reversed that you still did not clarify that you still would love to know in order to move ahead and you're slowly moving getting there you're slowly trying to get this closure and I think this is why this X is still like lingering somewhere around uh, because it looks like it was not communicated to you uh, what you needed to hear like it doesn't matter if it's good or bad it has to be told right and uh, yeah, so now you have to work on disclosure yourself, working it yourself, or as I said, try to get a private reading with me. I unfortunately tell always a brutal truth, and I am not trying to sweeten up the deal because sometimes a brutal truth, if I really see great things, I will tell you. If I don't see great things, I will tell you that too because. I see no point of dragging along the highway of, of the sugar coating because it's better for you to know that this person is eventually going to kill you with all the sugar or all those kind of things. So it might it might stink a bit when I tell you this, but you guys are strong. You will go, okay, she did it, but you know what? It's stinging because it's true, it resonates, it's true. So let me wake up. And it's like, you know, if you watch this movie, The Matrix, you're waking up from a dream and you're no longer seeing this perception as it is. So this is where the prior dreams are really powerful. And I really hope that at this stage we are connecting even on these general readings and this is giving you this entire kind of like ability to have this like momentum. So what did you learn from the last week what did you bring to this week see you are starting to be playful you're starting not to be this murky person and sad and you're kind of starting to think about romance you're allowing your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and this is coupled with seeking <laughs> you may be a little bit indulging i think a couple of you had too much wine to drink or maybe too much of a too good food and kind of like you don't care it was a time to treat yourself and that's what you're bringing to with this week a really healthy energy uh, so what what is coming from the past what is being left in the past you see two things you're leaving any kind of engagement so the the excess uh, or or something you were building is now being left in the past so I think that's probably connected to this because then you have also a wedding here as well, right? It, it meant something that was meaningful to you is now being left behind, right? Because if you just look at it, you know, this is just... This kind of comes close, but she's not even looking at him that happily, if you really look at it. And then this is coupled with Six of Seas. It's definitely a person from the past with whom you have some kind of nostalgic feelings and with whom also you feel completely out of your element you kind of now understand that things might not work out because cats don't belong in the water and the fish doesn't belong out of water and cats will not become tigers no matter how much they try so engaging with things that don't work is like something you're leaving behind you and maybe this is the spark of this uprooting kind of a thing because in order to get to healthy life you have to uproot what didn't work and the sort of like overall buzz that you're going to feel is hmm so let me go here this is the lesson lesson for these two weeks are children your love life is being affected by children and a five of fire Okay, Scorpios, if you have children, this is referring to them, and it's referring that you have to figure out how to position them in, in this like you know, new routine of playfulness and kind of like moving on with your life, right? Because like very soon you will be in a whirlwind affair again because you'll be deserving love. Just make sure that the, the new person in life feels those children are uh, like on the same like I mean standpoint as he or she is 
and it's, you somehow kind of like embracing them into your life. Do it gradually. Don't let them reign of your kids. That comes with time, and only when they live with you, they have some say. Some say uh, because it's primarily is like I mean, the, like I mean, original parents issue and of course you know that sometimes whatever you and how you are uh, come in raise your children is not how other people see that so you will be also judged through how basically you raise your kids and even though you might think you're doing the best thing in the world maybe somebody else won't agree and vice versa you might actually meet somebody who you'll feel oh my gosh what's up with the children you know so the children would be kind of like contentious issue this upcoming weeks by the end of the month but these children can be metaphorical children could be our work could be things we do could be our hobbies could be simply like our indulgences right like I mean like guacamole and nacho chips that could be our children because we just dedicate so much energy to it and people are jealous when that energy is not directed at them and this is what shows here right five of fire it shows most people don't like this card i actually do i like this card very much it shows a whole bunch of kittens here playing and it is a playful thing where you're actually learning and growing through this play and you have to know it's really important in life to know how far you can go how far you can push and sometimes you do that purposely in relationships you actually have to do it literally you have to do it to see how far you can go with this person because if this person didn't set their own healthy boundaries that means he's not going to have or she's not going to have respect for yours so to me this is a card of establishing boundaries like putting together is like you have to find a way how to incorporate uh, new people in your life or how to create your life that you have place for yourself you have place for your children or your projects and do you have a place for a new person and this is kind of doubled up this upcoming weeks because the next card in the raw is like healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents well here we are not necessarily talking about a partner because we do know you are dealing with your partner probably still like lurking somewhere and you still have feelings but at this stage i think you kind of like you you just had it like you had this three-party situation it was it just like it hit you there is no need or it's not even healthy you would not pass karmic lesson if you stay with this person absolutely not and i don't care if you were like i mean one year two years five years 20 years 75 years when people are not good for us they're not good for us you know at some point you know like when you are in the emergency room they put you on salt you're getting a salt in your veins and then salt is good for you but then you go out and they tell you not to eat it so you have to know when to go for it and when not to go for it so healing family issues means that you know we might have another relationships that basically never evolved because the entire um, nature of relationships with our parents is that they're gods and we are not <laughs> and they they keep this relationship until the end of their lives and they're such imperfect creatures and the older we get the more we get to understand that luckily actually some of us understand it sooner than later others just fall off them blindly and only few of us are lucky to have perfect parents so here it is like to kind of like find out inside of your heart what was the good lesson you have received from your parents what wasn't because sometimes the ground the fertile ground like because you're a child you're like fertile ground the ideas that are placed in you are so powerful so even something said innocently by a parent uh, can have like i mean long-term consequences so it's really important right now to assess from all these issues that you have with the other people in life uh, with romantic partners with children or you know even at work how much of that originated when you know you were a child and how much came from parents and you see how i know that you healed you're going to be dealing with this with grace really with grace so this is you scorpio water is scorpio right the element after scorpio is a sagittarius 
and the grace is the card of Sagittarius. So the kitty will be walking through water, so you're going to be able to manage yourself because these family issues are very emotional. Boy, you know, you just have to have like one hour with your mother and all your buttons are pushed. Here, you're not going to allow this to happen. You're going to keep your tail upright, going to walk forward. It's going to be a rainbow around it, right? So you've been through so much that you're feeling, you know what? Like, I mean, I am not going to have a bad day, mom, today. And thank you very much. Please pass the potato. So how do you feel about yourself, Scorpius? Well, this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek. Please tell me you're not going to back to your ex because that's what it said here. Or hopefully what this means is like you met somebody already in your work environment or you met somebody somewhere but you were with someone or you were not ready to kind of like charge in that direction. But now in, in your dreams because you're very prophetic, you're very intuitive, it came to your mind and right it was some kind of engagement if you guys are doing some kind of sports or if you guys are doing some kind of camping or simply something where there is a winner and a loser or where is a group of similarly thinking people this could be from work you see you're getting all these accolades and this person suggested to be one of these people who is already there who already kind of like acknowledged you like sort of like upper league so or you have you are kind of like disregard this person like the lower league of yours so just pay attention he might be the one or she might be the one and people change and people we are continuously trying to fix yourself and fix this karma but you have to pass the lesson so how do others see you see others see you calling in your soulmate your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And then you have this couple, the Ten of Earth, which is ultimate card of, you know, fulfillment. So I guess they're seeing all this work that you had. And I remember, like, I, I would put a note to myself after a reading, ask person if they're a Scorpio, they are. Just reschedule the meeting for a month from now because you had this devil cat, you had this like ten of swords. It's like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be chewed alive by those Scorpios, right? Because I knew that you were going through some tremendous pain, and I'm a, I'm a big empath, and it's a problem because like when I see this pain or when I feel it, I kind of acknowledge it, and sometimes it gets through. So I really have to block myself. And you guys had a lot. Oh my God, I could I could see that you know you've been left on devices and not a little pain, pain coming from all directions, and nobody looked up for you. A little bit, a little extent of this pain is still going to be here because you do understand now that the really what I was telling you, like I mean, month and a half ago when I started this channel, let go and it's going to be easier. You did not believe me. You did not let go, or you couldn't let go. It was not time. And some of you still didn't let go, even though even though you who didn't let go are now completely aware that you have to let go. And it says, it's time to take back control of your life and become this proverbial unicorn, right? Because if people didn't know how to appreciate you and everything that you brought on board, then somebody else deserves this unicorn. And this is kind of a kind of difficult task, and it's kind of being mixed with Ace of uh, Cups, right? And this is kind of like usually place that you like when you're at your best, when you're the most relaxed, when when you really get to know someone and you can go deep. This is like kind of that welcoming place where you're enjoying listening to somebody's dreams and you can share yours. But in your case. Um, in your segment of fears, this came reversed. It means you are still afraid of expressing your emotions. And all I would say, oh my God, Scorpio, this is so normal. After what you have been through, please free yourself first, you know, and then just like, I mean, heal all, all your rounds, right? And allow the sadness to flow, right? It's, it has to flow. It's better that it flows out. 
than anything else. Remember that we were talking about here that you need to release. So this is why probably the repetition is coming here. Please do release. And you know, you have to also, while you're releasing, trust the happiness will come because you are conquering this karmic lesson, right? So it is very really important to pay attention to that. And lastly, the end of the month is going to be honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you're finally getting it back. You're getting your mojo back, Scorpio. And mind you, honeymoon is a little bit temporarily kind of situation where, you know, you see the highlight of someone and he or she appears to be so lovely. And we know this might not last. We know that eventually we're going to see the true colors. But remember, they are going to see our true colors as well. So enjoy while you can. It's always good to have these like really nice moments because they carry us through bad moments. And when you, this is coupled with fire kitten, a playful kitten that gets in trouble, like you know, but but doing various things, like you know, the tail is steaming and paw. So all of this is basically saying, just please be cautious before you do anything. You know, because you, you can literally burn yourself. So honeymoon uh, combined with this would say, look, Scorpio, you are coming out. You're coming out big way. You are healing issues with your ex. You're releasing your ex. You are dealing with your children. You're dealing with family issues with grace. You're freeing yourself, you know. And... On top of that, you are able to open yourself already to a new relationship to a point that you can actually enjoy with someone. So, this reading is really clear to me, Scorpio. I mean, uh, I will just cl clarify this part over here because, uh, gosh, such a great reading. I mean, for you, like, I mean, there is no heaviness. Like, how many major canons do we have here? Let's see, we have one. Wow, one. Holy smoke! Well, one and two aces, which are kind of gateways, but one major arcana. So remember, we had like five, six, seven at times. It was like heavy lessons and nothing you can do about it, nothing you can influence. And now you actually have one, two. You have two because you have the moon as well. Still, still. Okay, man, that can be handled. That can be handled. The storm is finished. And the sun is coming out. Okay, can you please confirm this Ace of C for Scorpio? And in their fears, okay, I have a jumper. I have two jumpers. Remember this Ace of Earth that we had on the bottom of the deck? Well, now it came up upright. Remember, you were uprooting certain things. And now you're ready to root it back. And that's probably after you free yourself after you cry all your tears, after, you know, you realize who is your friend. Okay, is I think this Venus retrograde, for me, it's worse than Mercury retrograde because I just didn't have it plugged in and the computer decided to shut it off. And luckily, it kept it. It kept the recording. So, otherwise, I would have to do it all over again. So, what I was saying here is, like, you actually learned this lesson to... To, to clear, to cleanse, you're freeing yourself, you are closing it down, you are like realizing if if you were the one who didn't want breakup or a divorce, you realize that it takes two to tango, there's nothing you can do and you just don't like situation where you have to beg or you have to earn because this is not how it's supposed to be, it's a kind of karmic thing and this is why you're releasing him and you're going through that it was very painful and you're still shedding some tears but right now in this whole situation you have also learned that you have to also pay attention to yourself and you were just like struggling you wanted to stay with this person because you guys cannot let go but now you're realizing oh my gosh I neglected myself. He or she was not the right one for me either. And of course, there's this big thing and memories and you guys are going so deep on the bottom of the sea. But ultimately, you know, 
you have to see that there were warning signs, they were taking things away from you, distracting you, there were a third party situation over there, right? As you're seeing, and you could have been this, this little mouse, little third party, and, and loving so deeply, kind of forgiving, and it's telling you, you know what, forget it, leave it in the past. Right now, you are getting this beautiful possibility of building foundations, and this is a better energy for you. Um, this is the energy of strength. This is the energy where you can get through it and move ahead. And I don't know, like, I mean, you know that I'm not big on horoscope connecting with this. Um, but at the same time, Scorpio, um, I think you are, you're out you're out of the issue like you just the moment when you completely cut this you, you literally have to cut this X out without any communication I don't care if you have kids no communication set the schedule set what you are doing and do not communicate because it's going to push you it's going to go, go get you for a loop because you are you left this in the past this is playing games with you, right? You don't have any swords in the reading, which kind of balances you out because swords are sharp. They tell you, look, you are feeling this way, but remember the bad times. Here it's only remembering good times, and this is like the cup energy. This is the cup energy. Like, I mean, this actually is a combination of a cup and fire energy in this particular deck. So be very careful about that. And it is a fire energy. So I don't know, maybe you're dealing with Sagittarius. Uh, but you're dealing with somebody who has like very strong, aggressive, charging ahead, and that kind of like charismatic energy. But uh, you need more, like I mean, playful. You need more soft. You you're going deep. So if you're going deep in your water sign, when you get together with a fire sign that is kind of like torching earth, and where the air is like putting this like flame to go higher, this is like you're meeting somewhere in the middle right? Somewhere in the middle is not a good spot because neither you can take them deep because the fire will get distinguished nor they can take you up because the the water doesn't have that ability uh, and it's a kind of different flavor so I'm not saying that you have to avoid fire signs because each of us have combination of different kind of flavors and I kept telling you Scorpio believe it or not one of the best matches for you is Aquarius because Aquarius is a sky or sword which is the opposite of water but water you you actually have oxygen in water it's it's a part of it and there is water it is a part of the air and this is literally it either glues or it creates tornado so give different people a chance and uh, enjoy our next two weeks I'm so glad you're coming out but please please release your ex it's time to call it quits and it's time to go on your own new honeymoon. Love you, Scorpio. Please get a private reading from me. Clarify your own personal situation. Um, 20 minutes is now 30 minutes for 30 bucks. So take advantage of the special. Love you. Talk to you soon.